This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane. I'm back with another tour review and today... Uh, yeah, no box, because I got this guy from AliExpress and basically I didn't want to... Uh, I wanted to, to, wanted to save 5 bucks, basically. But this is the Jinbao Deformation, Defer, E-R, Formation. Uh, Megatron or maybe he has another name, but I didn't pay attention and I don't have the box to correct myself so um, And I honestly thought he was gonna be a little taller because basically I want to replace my Megatron who's somewhere near Devastator and I thought this would be a good fit and I, I think I still will because he's He's not that short. It's just I wish he was like maybe like a head taller but he looks really good and he comes with a bunch of accessories and this is very cartoon accurate and uh, you know orange tip for the kids looks really good so I'm gonna you know and then he, but he comes with a bunch of accessories and it came from Aliexpress again very you know well packaged um, so can't complain there and he arrived uh, basically uh, 10 days or 10 to 17 days earlier than expected so Pretty happy about that. So just before I do the review, I just want to remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of. And also check out my sponsor, DJC Collectible, an amazing, amazing store. He gets all the Transformers uh, from the main line, plus, uh, you know, uh, MDLX uh, 3.0 stuff. Uh, he gets uh, the Super 7 stuff, and uh, sometimes even get the Toys R Us and Walmart exclusive. So, you know, he's a safe bet. Just go and then at the end of this video, you can get your 10% discount code for anything Transformers. Um, so yeah, check it out. It's really worth it, guys. And now let's roll the intro. Megatron. Okay, I was gonna say out of the box, but technically wasn't in a box. But this is all he comes with, and it's it's a lot. So let's uh, get started with let's say the stand. Clear plastic, uh, one piece like this rotates, and I don't have. Oh, actually, this is my first transformer stand. I have one for my Grandizer. And then you can plug it and then remove it and then move it in different angles so it's very stable. Uh, all the way to here. So I might do a, uh, a flying pose. Uh, this is the other part here and it just clips in the same way. And the stand as far as I can tell goes right in the butt right there. There's a hole in Megatron's butt. So there you go, now he's flying, uh, and he's flying too high for the camera, so, but it, it doesn't really click when you peg, it just kind of sits there, so, uh, you have this, which is basically the uh, gun handle, like at the, not the handle, but the uh, armrest, or the stabilizer, I'm not a gun guy, I have no clue, and then it doubles as a stand, so basically you put it like this, and then this piece here moves a little bit. And uh, so you put it here. Or anyway, that's where it was earlier, was it? Yeah, yeah that's, that's the one. There you go. So, and then you take this piece here. You have two pegs, two holes here for the peg there. And Put it like that or any way you want and then the way that they show you is you take the cannon and there you go that's the turret mode uh, let's leave it there for now you have uh, this blast effect here which okay let's start with this this is it doubles as the little sword that Megatron used in the movie so he's able to attack Optimus Prime uh, with this 
It's not like he already had a weapon made out of energy from the pilot that he could have used. But anyway, so he has that little sword, uh, but this uh, is a two-parter because this is basically goes on top of the gun like this when he's in uh, pew pew mode. And this is where you hook the blast effect. So the blast effect don't go into, like they have bigger, uh, you know, peg holes. So they're like, all the blast effects are female. This port is female. This is the only male one. So, and it doesn't even go both ways. So there's only one way to put it. And then you put in the, huh, could be troublesome. Hold on, this works this work this doesn't work oh yeah it does it's just really tight so yeah you can have you can do it like that is this one gonna go in ah oh, man it's super tight all right so this is how that piece works uh very tiny and you only have one so don't lose it you get okay so i've done this you have like those blast effect you have three which i have no clue why they gave you three of the same mold because i only found one peg so far and it doesn't even peg here or in the cannon maybe this goes no too loose too loose maybe this reverse yeah okay you can put the uh, thing there and then put that in the cannon but at this point this is a scope so anyway it's, uh, I could have used a little more blast effect port. Uh, you have this uh, blast effect, look more like, uh, I don't know, crystallized blast effect. It looks good. Uh, those three, the little ones. And then you have the mace, which is on a flexible plastic. Uh, but, so basically you have to put it in his hand like this. Ah, and it's really tight so that's how Megatron wields it but then you know you're probably asking yourself but Raziel he has like other hands so you can remove the hands and put the mace in can you no because the port for the hand is bigger than this so it doesn't work nope can do it you could potentially squeeze it it's like this is the can cannon port you could squeeze it and then it holds but then you can't have the cannon so yeah uh, while talking the hands you have uh, three sets of hand you have the fists very nicely molded you have the pointer finger And then you have the jazz hand, but in this case, I'm guessing that this is the hand in the episode where all the Decepticons get drunk and then he's able to shoot lasers from his uh, fingertips. That could be used for that scene. And that's what I like about this set though. Like this is the pilot episode this is, you know, the sword from the movie. You have the gun from the movie. Looks real good. I thought you were made of sterner stuff. No, you don't, Megatron! Nice color. Maybe he's... No, you can't put a blast effect on him because he has, well, too small. Or is it? But, yeah, there's uh, the uh, the pointer or the, the aimer. Or whatever you want to call this uh, is in the way of the blast effect so that's too bad uh, so all right we went through you have the key to vector Sigma on this world the key to vector Sigma de-energizes matter there's no metal in this set it's all plastic looks good you have uh, well, you have this face for Megatron. 
you have a smiling face or laughing face and then you have a shut up star screen I'm thinking face there you go and then one cool thing is that he has the helmet from the episode where he controls Optimus Prime I am Optimus Prime. I am Optimus Prime. And actually, that's a two-parter. You have this piece here that's super tiny that uh, remove that that can be removed, and that's like the uh, the you know microphone or something. And I guess you can put it any way you want. It's it's if you have tiny fingers, it's gonna be easier. There you go, and then you put it on his head, and now he's able to control Optimus Prime. So you have all the hands, the different uh, blast effect. There's this piece here, which I'm thinking it's a stand adapter uh, of some sort, or because like, it's not part of the transformation, and I have no clue where it goes. And the instruction, don't say it because uh, the instructions don't say much like it's not super intuitive I mean just if you're gonna do an, a KO just copy the style of Asbro you know but anyway it does the job um, oh wait I just saw the piece oh you have to remove it so what where where does this go in the back all right and before we do the uh, transformation which I had started now I backtrack let's do articulation you have uh, your head on a ball joint very flexible but uh, doesn't uh, give you much of a look up and down you have your ferris wheel at the shoulder you have a rotation underneath the shoulder the arm goes up all the way here that's about it uh, because of all the kibble on the shoulder uh, you have a okay elbow band you do have a rotation at the hand because they're all removable um, you want to if you when you put them in gun mode though use the fist hands it doesn't work with the others yeah. so yeah uh, you do have a merry-go-round no problem uh, what do you have for kick you have a kick uh, well yeah i guess it works he's able to do a nice kick because of the way the transformation is going to use the legs all right what do we have for a back kick we have that's about it you do have a good knee bend that's again because of transformation you don't have a toe uh, uh rocker no you don't have a toe tilt but you do have an ankle rocker on both feet good he looks good. I mean, look at the face sculpt. That's Megatron. Like, this is more cartoon accurate, so that's why I wanted it. Uh, because Earthrise was a gift from my oldest. But it's a tank. It's, it, it's not the same thing. And it's not a great mold. I heard Siege was a better mold, but again, it's a tank. And I really wanted to have a gun, so I should have probably got the Masterpiece one, but, you know, we'll see. Alright, and now you can do the uh, Megatron. There's no adapter to, like, you know, where the hands plug in so that he's able to shoot. So you kind of just put him there so he's looking through uh, the, uh, the visor, the scope. Now he's shooting. So... Actually, yeah, the picture made it seem a little bigger than this, so... Anyway. Man, it's a fantastic figure. I mean, the colors on it are really good. Uh, you know, uh, it's got gummy plastic, more like uh, Iron Factory. Uh, it's not slick, but you do have a slick uh, plastic here, very smooth. Nice gunmetal. Uh, nice color. I like that uh, the color here gray and then you have like different shade of uh of gray and silver but you do have the nice black waist the little details here 
you know, inspired by Darth Vader. I'm kidding, I don't know. Uh, the eyes are really good. And it's really easy to change the head. You just put your finger in there and then pop in a new one. So you have the serious one. And you have the maniacal laughter one. I think I'm going to keep that one. Yeah. Yeah, you can hear Frank Welker on this one. So there you go. So, all right, let's do some size comparison. All right, so let's see how Jinbao Deformation Megatron stand against Earthrise Optimus Prime. And uh, yeah, mega size difference. But I don't know. It's, I don't mind it. Masterpiece Sunstreaker and Earthrise Megatron. And you know, this is the Siege Soundwave weapon piece that I've added at the back so that it gives him that little turret thing. Um, but it's not the same. The, I mean, the head sculpt is more, of course, War for Cybertron rather than G1. Uh, cannon was good. Uh, I don't like this thing here. I don't know why I leave it there. I, I, I don't store much of my accessories. Uh, the colors are nice, but there's battle damage, but the legs are tank treads, you know, they're not guns. So, yeah. All right, so now let's do transformation. <laughs> Which is not, uh, it's actually fun once you've done it a couple times. So you want to lift this up, put it here and then clip it like this and then you want to do that thing I showed you earlier you lift up put your finger you lift the chest piece and then you pull the arms down and after that you flip this up like that oh no you have to remove yeah sorry I'm skipping step you have to pull on the abdomen and then push it and push it hard so that it goes straight through the chest uh, there you go and then it unclips in the back and then you pull that out and then you take that little piece here and flip it forward for later and then you put this on forward you rotate it and then you're able to put the cannon on top you might want to have to you might have to play with this a little bit so that it clips properly and then you have the uh, finger protector that's gonna go in the back of the head of Megatron and then this you leave for when you want to clip it later and after that you want to turn the waist uh, unclip uh, yeah unclip like this like unfold the back of the legs pull the feet uh, oh yeah you have to do it from behind so pull the feet down uh, and then this part here, that's the hammer of the gun, you're gonna uh, pull it out. Then you're gonna take the interior of the leg that that hides all the hollowness. You're gonna, the instruction don't show it to you, but you have to unclip it from here, all right? Pull it forward and then push it inside the legs or else you can do anything else. So pull, turn, push. All right, then after that, oh yeah. Okay, this part was a little scary, but you do have to take the waist. You see where it separates here. You wanna pull it down, and now it's super easy, but the first time it was tighter than an elven ass. All right, then, come on. Clip this, this clip is super tight, and when you unclip it, uh, it's worse and then you want to push the skirt and hold now let me show you those are the holes this is the plug flip it down and after that you oh, hold on no you have to wait a little more you clip this part here so that the 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 hammer is there it doesn't really move so you don't have like a full back action like a real gun but it doesn't matter now, once you've done this, you see those two holes here in the legs, those two pegs, so you pull it down and then you put it like this. 
this is gonna hold or it should hold everything together there you go so now it's stable the arms very painful to do the arms on oh, it's not great because anyway so basically on this side what you want to do is push the, the adapter down and then pull uh, push the arm the, the the elbow inside the forearm take the back here and flip it forward and then take the the other back pull it forward like that pretty simple right all right now on the other side you do everything differently so this doesn't go in so you have to pull on this one here all right and then f move it forward so that you have that clip here and on top i don't even know if we're using the clip i don't know why it's there then you want to push this forward but then you want to take the arm this one like extend this piece here then you want to do this, but you don't want the whole thing. You just want the fist to fold uh, underneath the arm and then clip like this. Oh, that's why we're doing it because it needs to clip to the other part. Yeah, I remember now. And then after that, you take this part here and unfold it so that it gives you something like that. All right. And then you want to push it like this upward. So put the arm up. Fold it, and then you don't, they don't clip together. Well, yeah, they kind of do, but you might want to wait a little bit. And then after that, you need to, uh, well, it's actually easier to do it one by one. So let's do this one first. Put it inside the, uh, the gun piece here. And once it's semi-stable, you want to do the same thing with this one. Putting that clip underneath here, that's going to be... The kind of tough part so you want to what you can do is fold it in instead of leaving it completely straight fold it in and then push everything back in like that and then you put this piece over here and you want to leave this gap because this part here is going to now you have to make sure everything is perfectly lined up Why won't you go? Because I forgot to flip it backward. Yeah, you have to do that. Sorry, guys. You have to move this around. And then you put it in like this. And basically, those two pegs here are going to go inside those holes there. And it's not super lined up. So good luck. Come on. There you go. Go again. Ah, there you go. And then so now you have the hammer kind of moving a little bit. And this here. Gonna go there. And you want to close the back. And push or fiddle with it until until it actually clips. Come on. No. Ah, you put it over. All right. So there you go. And this is a Walter P38. And it's a little too small for my hand. There's no spring, but you can move this back and forth. So that's pretty cool. And then because I removed this piece here, you can put the blast effect. But before you do that, you can take this piece here and put it uh, no the other way around yeah there you go well it sticks out hold on it should work on both sides ah there you go so it's now it's more flush so you have this and then you put this you line it up with the uh aiming piece and there you go hmm i like it i have a gun megatron and if my son sees this 
I won't hear the end of it. He's going to want to play with it every freaking day. So I just might then... Oh, I, I know what I'll do. I'll buy a masterpiece one and I'll give this to my kid. And then my wife will think I'm a great dad for playing with my son. Yeah. See, this is how you justify your collection. It's family oriented. All right. So there you go. And, well, there's no way to make this stand by itself. But um, can you... Yeah, there's no plug elsewhere where you could stand this. That'd be nice if you could stand it underneath like this. Oh, maybe the stand does something, though. Hold on. Because there, I don't have the instruction, right? So I don't know if there is a way that this goes somewhere and it stands. I'm not seeing any peg holes underneath. Uh, nope. See, there's stress mark here because of the way it transform. So I don't like that at all. Can this... Well... Kinda. You kinda can do it, but... I wish they would have included all of this in the instruction, how to properly use the stand, if you can use it in... Uh, or maybe that's what this piece here is for, which I doubt because there's no connection for this and there's no round hole for this. There's no slit for this peg. Uh, so no. Oh well. Would have been nice, but it's not gonna happen. All right, let's do some, well, you know what? I just might as well try to use this stand uh, for the size comparison. So here we are with uh, Megatron in gun mode with Magic Square Delta Magnus Legend Scale. Legend Scale Iron Factory Samurai Siri Drift, which I'm never transforming again, and G1 Sunstreaker. All right, let me put him back in uh, robot mode. And there we are, Megatron completely transformed and fully equipped and I probably could find some way to add more to it. Uh, you can squeeze this inside the uh, um, the gun uh, without any, uh, well you have to pry it uh, hard uh, if you don't want to use the adapter for uh, the others, but it works. So yeah, there you go guys, uh, Jinbo, Deformation, Megatron, uh, a Megatron that transforms into a gun. Uh, so I'm really happy about that, and uh, I, you know, I might get a, a bigger one at some point, and uh, well, I'll let you know. So thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. Love reading those. Keep coming back after more on the way, and remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care.